As I said earlier, yoga is basically a union, a yoke, if you like, of two components. The biggest problem in understanding yoga is what are these two components? If you could just visualize it and experience inside you, then 50% of the work is finished. It's identifying those two components. That is the main thing. Now, so let's touch base on what consciousness is and what awareness is. Now, some of you have already seen me on YouTube explaining these two things. But it's, it makes a difference when you see the person live in front of you and he's explaining now what consciousness and awareness is. So, let's start with a couple of um, examples so that you can understand the, those two components, how they are actually in your body right now. Consciousness is an observer, if you like, inside you. Whenever you go out and you see this world, it may look real, but it is not real. It's the observer inside you that's observing all these things which is outside your body. The same observer is also looking at your nervous system inside and you see all the images inside you. You see your car, you see your house, you see all the memories of your past, where you've been, when you were young, when you got married, and all the experiences. The same observer is looking at. So that is one component. And we call that observer consciousness. Because the observer is in phase with consciousness. What I mean by in phase it means whatever the observer is experiencing, so is the consciousness observer. And also experiencing the same thing. The difference will be clear tomorrow when we actually look at the, um, the whole hologram and you'll be able to distinctly see the difference between the two. The other component is awareness. Now that component is, is basically to do with your life force which is inside you. Awareness is a, a principle which obeys cosmic law right from minuscule to the macro level. Now let's see what it is really. The whole body works on a principle of awareness from cells to bacteria to all the bodies that incarnate from that, everything, right up to human being. Now you may wonder can you show us what do you mean by that awareness? For instance, let's see when the sperm and the egg combine together. Whatever happens after that, the whole formation of the body that happens after that is due to awareness. The cells know when to divide, how to divide, how to develop itself, where does the eye go, where does the ears go, where does the nose go. It takes nine months. Human being plays no part in it there's something else at play here that is actually arranging everything it is almost automatic fashion. That is what I call awareness. In Vedanta philosophy, all that cosmic law, which is full of awareness, is described in the four Vedas. Now those four Vedas and the explanation of what goes on in the four Vedas as a, a separate school of philosophy altogether. It was started by Swami Vivekananda almost 200 years ago and now it's taught by Deepak Chopra who comes from that background because his master Maharishi Mahesh Yogi was a, a, coming from the Vedanta school so obviously he, being his disciple, would, would teach from that angle. Um, so basically in a nutshell, 
let's give an example. So supposing, say, you go to a dentist and he gives you injection. Your awareness from certain part of your jaw goes numb. Yet there is a knower, observer inside you who knows that that tooth is going to be pulled out, yet your awareness is numb. There's no awareness whatsoever. So identify these two components inside you. Why I'm saying that? Because yoga is actually a combination of these two components. When you can assimilate these two components perfectly, then you will see your maker, your creator, or what we call the source.